If you're watching this video, you probably have a canvas that you're trying to figure out how to frame. And so that is exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. We're going to go over framing with open back frames. This is the type of frame that's very widely available at like Michael's, Hobby Lobby, and lots of other places. But my favorite place to purchase open back frames is Jerry's Artorama. They have awesome frames and they're really, really affordable. They're probably the most affordable way to frame a canvas. Make sure to check out the links in the description for all the tools and hardware that I'm using to install the frame in this video. And I also have an unboxing video so you can see exactly how these frames come when they are shipped to you from Jerry's. When you're choosing a frame for your canvas, it's important to know the dimensions of the canvas, of course, because that's how you fit the size of the frame to the canvas. So let's say it's a 16 by 20 inch canvas, then you'll want to get a 16 by 20 inch open back frame. But you also need to know the depth of the frame. And this is called the rebet. And so if you're purchasing online and you're trying to figure this out, just make sure to look for the rebet depth. And you want to have something that's thicker than your canvas. So if you have a three quarter inch canvas, then the rebet depth needs to be at least three quarters of an inch. But I would say you want to get something a little bit bigger than that, just so that you have some wiggle room. Because sometimes canvases, even though they seem three quarters of an inch, once you try to mount them in there, it might be a little closer to an inch or somewhere in between. So give yourself a little bit more rebet depth than the actual size of the canvas. For this video, I'm gonna be framing a 24 by 30 inch canvas with a Gotham Deep Black Gallery frame. It has a rebet depth of one and three eighths inches and my canvas is just under one inch thick. So this is going to be a perfect fit. Now, if you have a canvas that's thicker, let's say it's one and a half inches, then they also make the Gotham brand sold at Jerry's also makes a frame that's extra deep. And these are like two or three inches thick. So it's got plenty of room if you have have a one and a half inch thick canvas. When framing with open back frames, it's important to put the frame down face first and then place the canvas inside. Now I like to secure the canvas in place with offset clips. There are a lot of varieties of offset clips available. Again, link is in the description to these, but you wanna to try to get the size that will fit your canvas. So you have two options when deciding which size of offset clips to purchase. You can just purchase a whole bunch of different sizes so you have everything available. That's the option to go to if you're like me and you are always framing lots of different things. But if you don't want to do that, the best thing to do is just to get your frame in and then set your canvas down in there and then measure how thick that leftover rebet depth is. Because that way you'll know exactly what size of offset clip is needed. It's also important to keep in mind that most often when you purchase an open back frame, no hardware is included. And so you're always going to have to purchase these offset clips. Once you have the correct size of offset clip, it's super easy to install this. All you do is put one offset clip on each side of the canvas. I like to put them kind of near the corners, but not exactly on the corner. So that way it holds it in place. And just in case there is warping or anything like that in your canvas, this will help flatten all of that out. You line everything up and then you screw them in to the frame and then also to your canvas. Now you wanna make sure to get screws that are not too long to where they will poke out the other side of the frame or the front side of your canvas. My rule of thumb is just to use the smallest size screws that I can. And don't forget to check the description because there is an electric screwdriver in there when it comes to the stage of applying the screws to the offset clips. And this screwdriver I found is so awesome. It's very small, lightweight, doesn't hurt your hands if you have tendonitis or if you're just not very strong like me. And so definitely check that out. It's worth the money if you don't have an electric screwdriver already and you're looking for one. Well, the framing is all finished and I think it looks awesome. You can see that I already had my canvas wired, so I didn't need to do that in this tutorial. But if you haven't wired your canvas, you wanna make sure to do that. You can either place the wire on the stretchers of the canvas or the frame. It's up to you. I like to place the wire on the canvas so that way when I hang the frame on the wall, it looks a little nicer. It hangs very flat against the wall instead of out at an angle. That said, if you'd like a little more information on wiring your canvas, watch this video. I've made an entire tutorial for you. All right, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.